Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic in X-Rule Maths video. In this video we're taking a look at how we're going to find the Maclaurin series expansion of e to the power of x. Okay, so this is probably the easiest one actually to do, but I thought, you know, we'll do sine and cos first just because I think it's easier to show sine and cos than e to the x. Um, it's, it's better practice to do them first, but I think e to the x is probably the easiest one. So let's recall what the formula for Maclaurin series actually is. Maclaurin series says that we can express any function that uh, allows us to evaluate it and all of its derivatives at zero as this infinite polynomial, this power series. Um, so it's uh, f evaluated at zero plus the derivative of f evaluated at zero times x plus the second derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by two factorial times x squared plus and the pattern continues. Uh, we get this pattern, it goes on forever. If it doesn't go on forever, then it's just an approximation. And some functions, some functions, uh, this only works for a certain range of values for x. But for sine x, cos x, and e to the x, this series will converge for any value of x, any real value of x. So this is quite important. It's a very important concept. So let's just go ahead and do it. So let's let f of x be e to the x because we want to find the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So it makes sense to do this. Then what we are going to do is differentiate f of x. What's the derivative of e to the x? Well, it's just e to the x. What's the second derivative of f of x? Well, it's just e to the x. What's the third derivative? You get the idea. It's e to the x. e to the x can be differentiated infinitely many times and it will still equal e to the x. It's its own derivative. So essentially what we get is that f of 0 is just e to the 0. So substitute x equals 0. What is e to the power of 0? It's just 1. f prime of 0 is e to the 0 again. So it's just 1. f double prime of 0 is 1. f triple prime of 0 is one and you do and this goes on again forever this is why i'm saying it's, it's probably the easiest one to do because it's just ones forever so we just substitute essentially one into this formula that we've got here and what we get left over with is that e to the x is identical to f of zero so that's just one plus f prime of zero times x so one times x so x Plus, and then let's consult the formula. Well, we're looking this time at the second derivative divided by 2 factorial times x squared. So the second derivative evaluated at 0 is 1. So 1 divided by 2 factorial, so divided by 2 factorial times x squared. Plus the third derivative divided by 3 factorial, isn't it? Because we can see this up here. The third derivative divided by 3 factorial times x cubed. The third derivative evaluated at 0 is 1. So it's 1 divided by 3 factorial x cubed. And you should be able to see a pattern now because we haven't got the fourth derivative. We know what the fourth derivative is. It's e to the x. When you evaluate it at 0, it's 1. So we can actually just continue this. We get 1 over 4 factorial x to the 4. We get 1 over 5 factorial x to the 5 and again this goes on forever and ever and ever this is the Maclaurin series for e to the x and something that's very nice about this formula is remember we know the derivative of e to the x is itself which means if we differentiate this expression for e to the x it should also equal itself because this expression on the right hand side that we've got here this expression is e to the x they're the same thing, as long as it goes on forever, which it does. This here in the square bracket is e to the x, which means when we do, when we differentiate it, it should equal itself, right? Let's differentiate this thing. Well, it's an infinite number of terms, so, you know, we're going to be there for a while, but let's just differentiate the first few. So the derivative of 1, so we can say that e to the x, which is the derivative of e to the x, so this is, this is the derivative equation, um, is identical to... And let's differentiate. So the derivative of 1 is 0, so 0. The derivative of x is 1, so plus 1. 
and then the derivative of because two factorial is just uh, two so it's just one over two times x squared derivative of a half x squared that's just x and then one over three factorial is six so the derivative of one sixth x cubed well, that gives you one half x squared one over four factorial is 24 so 4 divided by 24, um, x to the 4, uh, x to the 3, that just gives you 1 over 6x cubed, right? Because it's 4 divided by 24, which is 1 over 6. And we can write 1 over 6. We, first of all, we can write uh, 1 over 2 as 1 over 2 factorial. Second of all, we can write 1 over 6 as just 1 over 3 factorial, because 6 is 3 factorial. And we'll do one more. If you differentiate 1 over 5 factorial x to the 5, well, 5 factorial is 120. So you differentiate uh, 1 over 120 x to the 5. Well, you get 5 over 120, which is 1 over 24, which is 1 over 4 factorial, because 4 factorial is 24, x to the, and then you reduce the power by 1, x to the 4. And this goes on forever. And you can see here, that, I mean, that zero there, we can just remove it. It's a zero. And what you get left over with, once again, this is brilliant, is e to the x. Look at this. It's the same thing. It's 1 plus x plus 1 over 2 factorial x squared plus 1 over 3 factorial x cubed plus 1 over 4 factorial x to the 4, etc. And you might be, but hold on, isn't there like one less term in this now because you just differentiate it? So like the first term disappears. So isn't, doesn't it have one less term? So surely it's not the same. Well, because there is an infinite number of terms, they do still have the same number of terms. This clearly is the exact same thing as this, clearly. So just because we differentiated it and technically a term is missing, it's not really because it goes on for an, uh, an infinite number of terms. So they do have the same number of terms. They both go to infinity. And that is essentially, guys, the Maclaurin series expansion for e to the x. It's 1 plus x plus 1 over 2 factorial x squared, plus 1 over 3 factorial x cubed, etc, etc, etc. And again, this this is valid for any value of x, any value of x that you want, this is valid for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.